Okay, so we're going to show you how to put it in a smaller casing. Um, we've got the cover off. I've moved the electrical out of the way carefully. Uh, be careful not to disconnect anything. And uh, so you're going to take the bottom of the pump housing, has the check valve on the bottom, and you're going to slide it in. If it's got an, a curve to it, like this one does from being in the box, put the the curve so that it's curving the pump housing towards the, the pipe casing and away from your electrical. It, it'll just help kind of keep it straight as you're going down. Now as you're going down the well, just kind of slowly let it go down, don't just drop it. Um, sometimes you'll hit, you might run into one of your pipes down there, so lift it up, turn it just a little bit, not a lot, and it'll go back down in between. Um, if you hit something, and no matter what you do, you can't get it to go past, um, chances are you're, you're hitting your pump. And there's a possibility that uh, your, your pump's not as deep as you thought it was. And uh, you may need to give us a call if that's, if that's the case. Um, you may need a different length of pump. But uh, in this one, got my cameraman tangled up here. <laughs> Uh, it's going right down pretty nicely. I've, I heard it hit the water, so I know we're below the water level now. Uh, probably a good, you know, 10 or 15 feet we've gone down below the water level. And now you want to clamp it on, and you've got thumb screws. Uh, these are regular bolts uh, that we were just using for testing, just trying some different stuff. But yours should have thumb screws and should tighten up by hand if you need to. Um, if you have a hard time tightening, and uh, you want a little extra help than just keeping a, a pair of pliers handy even with the thumb screws that might help you get it nice and snug you want it good and tight so that it's not moving while you're pumping and that'll just help keep everything solid there you go okay so that's tight it's not going anywhere and when you first start out again right out of the box at this point go eat a sandwich or go do something else for a while. Reason is, is uh, you don't have to do it for a long time, but it's going to kind of straighten out inside the well and unwind a little bit if it was twisted at all. And that'll just help keep everything straight for when you start pumping. When you first start, you want to get a little bit of water in there. That'll help lubricate the pumping mechanism. When you start to feel that it's sliding smoothly, you just do a nice, smooth, even stroke. And you'll fill the water and catch. And I can pump it faster if I want. But you don't want to jerk it, just kind of a nice smooth stroke. I can actually pump it faster than the check valve can let water in if I really want to, but I don't need to. You know, at this at this level, pumping one-handed it's pretty comfortable and you know you're gonna get between one and two gallons per minute which is gonna be plenty in an emergency so there you go if for some reason it does feel really difficult um, then you may want to let it sit for a second before you try pumping again and sometimes You'll get a little bit of a vacuum, or that it's it's just needs to get a little bit of water in there. Usually, that's right at the beginning, but you shouldn't have any problems for the most part, and uh, it's pretty pretty easy to pump. Not that difficult. Uh, a child could do it. In fact, uh, we'll grab one here in a minute. I'm just going to leave it as is, and we'll let them pump for a few minutes, and uh, you can see that pretty much anyone can do it.